Hello and welcome to the channel. APC Shifton Femi Fanny Kayade accused yesterday of spreading fake news prior to the February 25th presidential election by the European Union EU as it back saying the Union had tried desperately to stop President Bola Hakmet Sinyubu but had failed and that their report belongs in the dustbin. Details to follow. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. They failed to stop Tinubu. FFK rubbishes EU report on 2023 polls. A former Minister of Aviation on shifting of the whole Progressives Congress APC. Femi Fanikayade has rubbished in its entirety European Union Observers Team report on the 2023 general election. Fanikayade's reaction is coming on the heels of reactions making the rounds from the EU report on the 2023 polls, which faulted the victory of President Bola Ahmed Sinyubu at the presidential polls. The report noted that violence, vote buying, Insecurity and suppression of voters characterized the 2023 presidential election. While the presidency had described the report as a poorly done desk job, oppositions like the Labour Party and PDP had praised the EU report. On his part, Fanny Koyade, who was also listed by the report as one of the purveyors of fake news owing to the crucial role he played during the poll, said the EU report itself is fake news. Recall, FFK was one of the outstanding voices for President Tinubu during the heat on tick of the election campaign. Reacting on his verified Twitter handle, FFK noted that he had raised the alarm that oppositions were conniving with foreign partners to discredit the outcome of the 2023 polls. He wrote, The EU report on the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria is itself the biggest and best example of fake news and it belongs in the dustbin. There is not one thing we said during the campaign about the antics of the opposition, their foreign collaborators, their friends and backers in identifiable sections of the Nigerian and international media, and their subterranean and covert co-conspirators in the dank corridors of powers that is not true. Recalling how he suffered in the DSS detention for attacking the opposition, FFK noted that such harassment was a ploy, the ploy to stop President Tinubu. We have not forgotten what they subjected us to, what they did to us and the role he and every one of them played. Their collective intention was to stop p and, thanks be to God, they failed. The truth is that the EU is still smarting over the fact that its preferred candidate lost. We know what happened behind the scenes, but that is a story for another day. The most important thing is that p prevailed. Now they are trying to diminish, discredit and tarnish his victory by saying that the election was flawed with irregularities and rigged and that his frontline generals and warriors who stood with him in the heat of battle indulged in fake news. They are nothing but poor losers and lost souls and whether they like it or not, p is here to stay and God willing will lead Nigeria for the next eight years. I am glad that the presidency has responded to their dishonest, disrespectful and contemptuous reports in a decisive and appropriate manner. The Independent National Electoral Commission, HINEC, has begun reviewing the 2023 elections as well as punishing officers found to have been culpable for electoral malpractice during and after the polls. Subscribe, like, share, comment and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Recall that the European Union Election Observation Mission alleged that a former Minister of State for Labour and Employment, Festus Kayamo, and the shifting of the whole Progressives Congress APC, Femi Fanikaya Day, promoted fake news during the 2023 general elections. The EU observers made this allegation in its latest report on the 2023 general elections copy of which has been submitted to the Secretary to the Federal Government, George Akume. It accused Kayamo and Fanny Kayade of misleading Nigerians by spreading fake news during the 2023 general elections. The EU observers cited instances where both APC shiftings 
propagated fake news while campaigning for their candidates. The report partly read, There was an increased incidence of misleading information in the days leading up to and during the election. In many cases, false reports were reported by well-known personalities associated with political parties. On February 12, Festus Kayamore from APC promoted information published by a suspicious website accusing Peter Obi of bribery. The story quickly became viral and was in a few hours debunked. Femi Fanikayode, a former minister of aviation and an APC party member, made a claim on February 11, 2023, that the PDP presidential candidate Abubakar had a secret meeting with seven military generals in Abuja. He accused Atiko of wanting to incite chaos, provoke a coup d'etat, and establish a new and unconstitutional order. Kayade posted this claim across multiple social media platforms, and it garnered 281.2 thousand total impressions. The next day, he posted that the army denied reports about a meeting between its officers and Atiku. Meanwhile, in other news, the battle to make the ministerial nominees list of President Bola Hakmet Sinyubu may soon be over as the president is set to send the much anticipated list to the National Assembly. Those who lose out on the final list will be compensated with boards and parastatals appointments. According to Daily Sun, the ministerial list being compiled and undergoing vetting process by the relevant agencies is dominated by the Hold Action Congress of Nigeria ACN members from the Southwest Zone. While conceding the nominees to other members of the legacy parties that existed before the formation of the All Progressives Congress, APC. The publication claimed that a prominent member from Equity State, Prince Dayo Adeyeye, is believed to be included in the list. In Horshun State, former Governor Boyega Oyetola and Femi Fanikayode are also believed to have made the list. Dr. Tunji Abayomi and Olushola Oke are locking hands for the Ondo State slot. Salihu Lukman, Outspoken APC National Vice Chairman of the Zone is possibly the nominee from Kaduna State. In the case of Kano State, Rabiu Musa Kwankwanso is believed to be among the nominees. But an additional slot is being considered for the immediate past governor, Ganduje. The case of the nominee from Sokoto is being awaited from Aliyu Magatakada Wamako. The fate of the nominee from Zamfara State is in the hands of Ahmed Sani Yarima. Dot the news guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Bye.